Shabbat Shalom again, little Hebrews. And now for part two of Yehoshua, the risen Messiah. Now, according to John 20, verses 1 through 18, early on the first day of the week, Miriam of Magdala was on her way to anoint Yehoshua's body with spices. When Miriam came upon the tomb, she noticed that the stone had been rolled away, and she ran to Kepha and Yakanan and told them that the stone had been rolled away and that Yehoshua's body was gone. Well, scriptures tell us that Kepha and Yakanan ran to the tomb. Yakanan ran so fast he beat Kepha getting to the tomb first, and he looked in and saw the linen cloths. When Kepha got there to the tomb, he went inside. He saw the linen cloths lying and the napkin that was about Yehoshua's head lying folded in another place. Then Yakanan came in and saw these same things, and the scripture says that he believed. The scriptures say, then the emissaries went away again to their own homes. You know, little Hebrews, I can't help but wonder if there wasn't so much excitement between the two of them as they walked home, they probably couldn't even walk hardly. They probably were just stumbling over themselves, but they couldn't hold it in. So although Kepha and Yakanan had gone, Miriam of Magdala stayed outside the tomb weeping. She stooped down and looked inside the tomb, and when she did, she saw two Melakim in white, one sitting in the place where Yehoshua's feet had lain and the other sitting where Yehoshua's head had lain. The Melakim asked Miriam why she was weeping, and she told them that they had taken away Yehoshua's body, and she did not know where he was. Then she turned around and saw a man, not knowing it was Yehoshua. She thought it was a gardener, and the man asked why she was weeping and when, she, and who she was looking for, and Yehoshua simply said, Miriam. And she replied, Master, knowing it was Yehoshua. Yehoshua warned her not to touch him because he had not yet ascended, which means gone up to the father and she went to tell all what she had heard and seen to the emissaries as Yehoshua had commanded her. You know little Hebrews isn't it interesting that when Miriam turned she saw what she thought was the gardener she didn't recognize it was Yehoshua but isn't it wonderful that when Yehoshua spoke her name Miriam that's when she recognized it was him. She knew Yehoshua's voice. Remember what Yehoshua said in the good news of Yakanan? I know my sheep and my sheep know me, he said. My sheep know my voice. Yehoshua told Miriam to go tell my brothers. Miriam was to be a witness of Yehoshua, to tell the others that she saw the Messiah. <gasps> Just as Yehoshua told Miriam to go and tell about him, we too have been sent out by Yehoshua to tell about him and that he is real, little Hebrews. Now, on the evening of the first day of the week, the emissaries were behind closed locked doors. They were afraid of the Hebrews, but praise Yah that the locked doors could not keep Yehoshua out and fear couldn't keep him away from his own emissaries. Yehoshua came to where they were, and his greeting to them was, Shalom be with you. Even though Yehoshua told them he would rise again, it must have been such a shock to see him standing there in their midst. So Yehoshua showed him his hands and his side. After seeing his wounds, they knew for sure it was him, little Hebrews, and he was risen, just like he said. If Yehoshua told them, he'd, he'd rise, and he did. I think them seeing him finally made them know that they could trust and believe his words no matter what. Yehoshua is the first to rise from the dead so that we will know that there is there is resurrection for us too. As Yehoshua sent them out to witness and testify, he breathed on them 
and he said, Receive the Ruach HaKodesh. Who, why did he do this, little Hebrews? Well, Yehoshua did that because he knew that we need Yah's Ruach in us to do the work Yah wants us to do. We do the work of Yah not by our power, not by our might, or not by our strength, but by Yah's Ruach. Yah's Ruach is in us. It will let us forgive men. It will let us be powerful as Yah has promised. Yah sent Yahoshua to show us how to live by Yah's laws and commandments, to lead us back into the covenant with Yah. And by the power of Yah's Ruach, we are to forgive others as we've been forgiven. Hallelujah, little Hebrews. That's the second part of our lesson. And now we will ask you some questions. Shalom.